Good morning, Calhoun High School. My name is Trent. Please join me in standing for the Pledge to the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated for the moment of silence. And we don't have any student shout outs this morning. Let's send it over to Nick and Caroline for today's announcements. Thank you, Trent. Good morning, y'all. Today is Tuesday, January 31st, and it's a black day. I'm Nick. And I'm Caroline. And we're host of WCHS One Announcements. The Creative Writing Club is holding an art contest to find a unique yellow jacket design that will serve as the cover art for the first issue of the school literary magazine, The Book Jacket. All forms of art are accepted, but the image subject should be creative take on our school mascot. The winning artist will be featured in an exclusive interview in the magazine itself. If you're interested, submit your work via Miss Little at littles at ccsjackets.org. Contest is open to middle and high school students. The deadline for submissions is February 3rd. The Creative Writing Club is also accepting submissions for poetry, short fiction, dramatic writing, nonfiction, or visual art that would like to be published inside the spring's printing. The deadline for that is March 3rd. And there will be a retro rave on Saturday, March 11th. The cost for a ticket is $5 for underclassmen and $1 for seniors. Non-CHS students attending the rave will need to be accompanied by a CHS student. That'll be fun. And the Media Center is having a PBS raffle each week for free coffee. And last week's winners were Peyton Phillips, Aaron Holden, Sophia Aldridge, and Danica Brown. Congrats. Go to the Media Center to pick up your tokens and make sure you enter this week's raffle for a chance to win. And remember students, tomorrow will be a virtual learning day. Be sure to check in with your teacher and see if there is any work that will need to be done. Yep, don't come to school. <laughs> and weather, friend of weather, high of 55, low of 39, and 57% chance of rain. So it's looking like it's going to rain. And in sports, we're going to send it over to Trent. Thank you. Good luck to our divers as they start the state championship competition today. Call off it, Jeremiah Delaney. Blaze Burner and Brayden LaBeouf will travel to Westminster for the first part of the competition. Swimmers will compete Saturday. Will compete Saturday. Good luck and go Jackets. And tonight the boys and girls basketball team will face Cass at home at six and <laughs> at six and seven thirty. Come out and support your fellow Jackets. And today is the last day of track conditioning workouts. Thursday will officially be the first day of practice. So attendance is mandatory moving forward unless you are still competing in a winter sport at this time. Please bring all your necessary paperwork to Coach Murray if you have not done so already. And let's send it back to them for Today in History. Okay, Thank Today you, in History. On January 31st, 1990, the Soviet Union's first McDonald's fast food restaurant opens in Moscow. Many people lined up to pay the equivalent of several days' wages of Big Macs. Shakes and french fries. Wow, that was a good today in history. And now for birthdays. Happy birthday to Cameron Penny, Brianna Soria, Javian Macias, and Trenton Quinn. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Have, Have a terrific, terrific and it is Tuesday. Always <laughs> and it's always good jackets. Go jackets.